What's going on, guys? There have been people that wanted me to speak on this bad baby uh, video clip, or I think she went live, but I saw a video clip of her talking about how she's tired of being known as the cash me outside girl. She feels like only 10% of people that watch that particular episode of Dr. Phil may still know her as that. And she feels like so many more people know her as bad baby. Even though when I hear of her, I would know of her as Danielle Brigoli or I would know her as the Cash Me Outside girl. You know, the whole bad baby thing took a little bit to get used to because I think that was her rapper name. But I don't think anybody has cared about the music either. You know, let me just say this about her. I, I think that she wants to run away from what made her famous, that made her known. Now she wants to be known as an OnlyFans model, an influencer, because that's what she is to me now. It's basically just an influencer. Because that's what she wants to be known as. Going all the days of her deep black scent, you know, and her chasing behind NBA young boy. Now she's done bought a six million dollar home, cash. She's made over fifty million on OnlyFans. Now she wants to be known as just bad baby. Uh, but if they know her as bad baby, it's the OnlyFans model influencer. You see, these females, when people talk about a white privilege, if I could say there's a white privilege, <laughs> I, I, could, I could understand when people talk about her because she was the, she was the Caucasian chick with the black scent that was acting up, that went on Dr. Phil and just blew up. And her 15 minutes became, you know, 15 hours and then 15 days and then 15, you know what I'm saying? It just went on and on and on. To the point to where now she's making a lot of money just doing OnlyFans. She made a million dollars within hours of joining OnlyFans. Remember that? So now she she wants to let go of the past. She wants to let go of the past and embrace who she is now. And that's what happens, man. They they utilize the black scent. They utilize the you know the the neck popping the chasing rappers right they're just being a rapper herself now she just wants to be known as the influencer you know bad baby so let's get into this complex article bad baby who purchased a 6.1 million dollar florida mansion earlier this month now claims she made 50 million on OnlyFans. the controversial high beat rapper whose real name is danielle brigoli Originally went viral for her wild appearance on Dr. Phil alongside her mother in 2016 when she first uttered the catchphrase, Cash Me Outside. But it appears the viral sensation is ready to move on. Brigoli recently went on Instagram Live to express her frustrations with the constant Cash Me Outside references. She referenced a TikTok that referred to her as the Cash Me Outside girl. And she didn't appear too pleased about it. She said that she shared her own TikTok in response and is now facing backlash on the platform, she claimed. So basically, I was just saying, if someone's speaking about me and you feel the need to say something like that, I'm not saying that it's the end of the world. But why say something like that? Well, because people don't know you as bad baby. Um, People don't know about the failed music career. And, and now that you just want to go by that. You know, you cannot run away from what you are. And when you try to, more people are just going to do it more and more. And you're giving them the opportunity to do that. She said in the clip below, if you know when they say that, who they're talking about, why add it in there? Why add it in? So somebody get mad, like, well, that's how people know you. I'm not mad. I'm just saying, why even say it? Well, why get pressed about it? Why even get so pressed about it? Uh, she explained that everyone's referring to her as such is annoying and ignorant. I mean, that's the pot calling the kettle black. She also suggests that only 10% of people on, only know her for her Dr. Phil appearance. See, that's that OnlyFans money talking. That OnlyFans money has convinced Danielle Brigoli that somehow she's a lot more famous than she really is. You just know, you just have a bunch of thirsty males 
paying you every month. That doesn't mean you're famous. They just want to see you doing whatever on that platform. That doesn't mean that they're just all these different people know you as bad baby and bad baby on. Now, again, you know, as time goes on, things change. You know, as time goes on, people tend to forget. People tend to not care. So they'll, they may in time refer to you more as bad baby, but you're not really doing anything that brings attention to you as bad baby outside of, again, the failed music career. Now, I don't know, maybe her music career has been popping to some people. I just, I haven't seen it. That's an article here. There's probably more people who only know who Bad Baby is. During the clip in which she says she's the youngest female rapper to go platinum, Brigoli claimed that she made $50 million from OnlyFans upon launching her page last year. I don't think she pocketed $50 million. I think that OnlyFans got their percentage, and I think she got the rest. So in total, she probably made that. But, you know, once OnlyFans take their percentage, then she probably got what was left. But it was still a significant amount. Upon launching her page last year, Bagoli showed that she made over a million in just six hours. If her claims are true, that would put her among the highest earning OnlyFans creators in the world. It's not clear over what time frame she made that much money, though. But she claims you know, she does charge about two, what was that, 25, let's say $25 per sub. This is far from the first time Bad Baby has fought against the cash me outside scripter, excuse me. Uh, in a video shared on her YouTube page last year, she said that it doesn't fully represent who she is. I told y'all she's running from it. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, all you have to do is go look at that clip, man. That black scent is... <laughs> you better get rid of that black scent. Uh, I'm telling you, in about a year or two, man, she's going to be... A and I think I said this about her, that once she gets a little bit older... She's going to change up. She's not going to be that same girl. She probably was this way to fit in. And now that she doesn't have to worry about fitting in anymore and she's making money, now she could be more of who she really is. The Cash Me Outside girl, that was a character that she made of herself. That was a character. Now she can be more of who she is. For years, I didn't want to talk about it. People would say it. And I would just be like, okay, yeah, whatever. She said at the time, I'm still a human being. You have to have some sort of respect for me. Well, I'm sorry. Um, you didn't have respect for your mother when you went on that show and made a fool of her. Okay? And, and even yourself. But the fact that she wants to forget how she got to where she is. But understand this. those A lot of those guys that signed up for your OnlyFans, they know you as a cash for outside girl. Okay? They know you as that teenage girl that was on that show. Some of these guys probably couldn't wait till she turned 18 so they can go and subscribe to her OnlyFans. That's what they know you as. I, I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. Now, now, maybe some years, maybe this is why I believe she's going to totally change her image. I believe she's going to totally change her image to where who she was is unrecognizable to who she is now because that's what people are going to tell her. They're going to say, listen, if you truly want to change your image, you need to change things about you. You know, don't get no more tattoos. You can, you know, you can either get some tattoos removed or you can stop getting tattoos, maybe change your hairstyle, change the way you speak, change the, you know your body language, the people that you hang around. That's what they're going to tell her. But I don't think the majority of these people are going to just stop saying that that's who you are, even though you don't like that, because that was a character to you. And you're not that, you, not that character. You never really were that character. But once you were able to do what you're doing now, you want to distance yourself from it. So, like I said, so uh, let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see y'all next one.